Right, so here we are. We are on set of a broken, uh, no, of Broken Hope, my newest short film I'm attempting to make, and my shirt's blowing open. And uh, but I'm out here with Justin. We were uh, we had started shooting it, but the wind is so bad. Uh, the wind is so bad. I'm trying to protect it from being so windy. The wind is so bad out here, and I don't have a good microphone on. My microphone is failing, and. Um, we're out here on the railroad tracks on the bridge. Just to show you guys. Try to get it straight here. So you got As you can see, um, there is, you know, nothing down there except water. It's pretty cool. Um, so the danger is a little bit over there, you know. Definitely some danger to walk, you know. Just take the right way, you can go through. Woo, we're going. Uh, this is an actual bridge that a lot of people have jumped off have jumped off of and unfortunately fell to their deaths um, not sure how deep it is right here maybe they they hit the rocks when they jump off this particular part of the bridge or something like that but that is why we chose to film at this location because um, there there is some some truth to this story that we are making that I am making up um, this is a very old part of the bridge as well uh, it's pretty eerie, as you can see. You know, there's big holes and stuff all throughout the uh, bridge here. I know everybody is probably wishing me to be very careful, as well as Justin. If you guys can hear me, if the audio isn't so bad, I'm trying to cover it with my hand so it doesn't sound so choppy. But uh, as you can see, this this bridge needs some major repairs. I mean, just look at that there. I'm not even sure we. Sh I don't even think we're supposed to be on the bridge. But uh, as you can see, it's definitely leaning in right there uh so that watch your foot watch your step right there don't step on that that's already been i don't know how that got dented so bad and it's just dented in uh, like i said guys we're having some technical difficulties out here uh which sucks it is 112 out here today watch your step right there too straight shot down look at that spider web so you know, broken railroad ties out here doing some fun stuff. Um, I was down here for the last week. And a uh, good filming location. They've tried to repair that. Oh, I'm still doing that either. Uh, but I thought it would be a good filming location to do a you know, story, a, kind of a serious story. Uh, we're used to doing comedy stuff or whatever. But uh, like I said, I just want to give you guys an update. Uh, today is getting pushed back a day. Um, just having a lot of problems with the, the camera, so it's not fun. Uh, I wanted to have this wrapped up in one day, but it's going to take two. Uh, anything you want to say? Yes, um, I got a lot of a lot of good ideas for short films coming up, and I'm gonna. They're not gonna be posted on YouTube, but even on a website. I'm in the process of building right now. There you have it, guys, and we're out here at the lake. Like I said. It's probably a, I don't know, 30, 40 foot drop if you jump off the bridge. You know, there were some people doing it the other day. They had life jackets on, which is uh, still a little crazy. I wouldn't do that. But I am crazy enough to walk on these railroad ties with the lake underneath me. You just gotta watch your step, and as long as you do, you know, you're not gonna fall through. But it is a little trippy if you just kinda watch them or whatever as you're walking. It can kinda trip you up with your, your eyes and stuff, you know. I was doing it the other day and it got a little uh, confusing. It kind of starts messing with you because there's like boards underneath and stuff. So you just got to be careful. You know, as long as you're careful, you're not going to fall or anything. It can be done. Many people have done it. This might actually be safer than... Whoa. Might actually be safer than walking on that metal. But just to give you guys uh, a little sneak peek of what we're doing here today. And, you know, uh, I haven't released too much about this particular short film. But uh, I will, you know, show you guys this since we were having some technical difficulties. You know, I haven't seen anything from me in a, in a minute other than my live streams. So, uh, back up, dude. Just stopped and Justin ran into the back of me. Some people, man, they write a lot of graffiti and stuff. But, uh, yeah, just showing you guys where we are. So, awesome update. I got my little tripod here I'm filming with. And I uh, just want to give you guys a shout out and update. 
And this video should be posted today. Today is July the 19th, 2022. And like I said, 112 degrees today in Texas. And uh, just watching my step almost to the other side. And the film itself should be wrapped up tomorrow and should be posted by Friday, July 21st. So until then guys, I wanna thank y'all. There's my daughter down there Hello. with my mom. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in. Until I see you again, I'm Joe Jones. This is the Cubby Joe Show. This has just been your daily dosage. Oh, also, you know, like I said, Got a few people with me that was helping me with the filming process of this, and uh, they're not really used to the heat. So, due to the extreme temperatures today that we tried to film in, we are also leaving for that reason as well. Other than just not so, it's not just technical difficulties with the uh, camera. We're having a lot of problems with uh, the heat. They can't take it. I don't want anybody having a heat stroke or falling out from heat exhaustion, so be safe out there in the heat this summer.